Hi, my name is Darlene Chani Mayaposma and I am the screenwriter of Green. It's been, uh, the production process has been both amazing to see something that was in my head, like, turn into reality. Like, we dressed all these hallways and put posters up and um, just everyone's been really great and we got off the first shots this morning and it was just very strange to see people in character doing stuff that I had on paper. Hi, my name is Eddie Ryan. I'm the producer of Green. Um, this is our first day of production on Green, the movie. We are filming here at Plainfield North. We've had to do a lot of workarounds as far as with actors and having um, stand-ins and doubles for our main character, but we figured it out and I think it's really going to work out well. And um, The way that we're painting our main actor, it looks great and uh, we're really excited for it. Attention to Matt, he's going to direct you on different so, areas. I'm going to try my best to black all of you guys. Um, because we have less people in the plan, we have to switch the things around. Um, this is, we'll change the game to an ordinary game, this is like the championship game. And he won the game for you, so you want to be like extremely physical. Um, just yeah. an idea, because this yeah, is going from a bunch of quiet up. shots with audio that's exciting. Do you want us to do a pan of the door for the locker room and have him actually open it and come out? We're going to see his face if we do that. Well, I can start on this. Hey, Matt. Action, Max. Action background. My name is Carl Smith, and I am a teacher of junior and senior English here at Plainfield North High School. Um, Matt was one of our backstage people working on sound and lighting, and I got to know him through that, and uh, I'm pleased to say have maintained contact with him since he graduated. Um, I was really impressed today. We didn't have as many extras as I had hoped for, and I was really impressed um, you know, through the blocking and staging that they did, how impressive those scenes looked, how realistic they look, the hallway scenes. Um, I thought that they were really, really something so, new. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do two. We're going to do one rehearsal without the camera, one rehearsal with the camera, both with Anthony, and then we're going to bring in Eric, and then we're going to go. Always getting some, I guess, B-roll of just like the empty hallways and some of the set deck. After that, we're going to have, um, we're going to do the wide shot of the gym where Max enters, since we're going to keep it on the first floor, where Max enters with his coach and his teammates. And then we're going to move upstairs and we're going to get the... Um, you want. I want you guys all to be sitting like right here in this pool of light. Of Some people can be standing, sitting, whatever. The team gathering. Um, and the whole point is for Max to not basically be able to reach this point of light. And so that's... Where is he going to come from? The study cam today was interesting. I was kind of expecting to get here and, you know, start with the shot and have it really, really, really suck. Luckily... What ended up happening is, because I have great camera assistance, Thank you again. Um, we were able to set it up fairly quickly, and it works pretty damn good. Um, I'm new to steady cam operation, so I was proud of myself. Um, our first lighting setup we did was the first hallway, and we just had the jokers acting like windows with some bounce off the wall the floor, and that was pretty simple. And uh, while they were shooting that, I went to the gym, and set up, we used the gym to fake the studio audience. So we had the airy light kits on the back, like to make flares, like their stage lights, and then just the kino flows, giving some fill for the audience. Um, we decided to go boom since there was no going to be any dialogue in here. There was no point of having a, a lob, so we wanted to get as much of a room as we can get. That way, we can get an idea once we get back to post. Um, to kind of recreate the atmosphere, the whole place. Um, we did have a, we had a little uh, a hiccup in the beginning before we shot the first scene. Um, we had everything prepared and everything, and then once we t uh, turned our uh, equipment back on, our 744, our hard drive, um, it froze. Like right when everybody was started to, you know, they were about to say uh, rolling and everything. Like, so that was a little bit of a freak out moment for us. We weren't going to be able to get it back up, so, um, but thankfully... We figured it out and everything went smooth after that. Happy with how our day went today. We tripped you out here with the cords. Yeah, they tripped me. They were walking in front of me and I almost fell with the whole 
gear and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, today went really well. Uh, we finished just like about right on time, which was you know a concern of mine. I wasn't so sure because we had a lot to cover today. Um, I think we are we all were a little jittery coming in, but um, I don't know we all we all worked really well together and you know, our workflow together uh, was really nice um, throughout the day. We never had any major issues. Uh, yeah, the mood on set was uh, was pretty upbeat the whole time, I and mean, we were all you know pretty energetic. Um, we were even like playing. Uh, sports uh, upstairs. It, it was exciting to do like the big reveal with Max and uh, our extras hadn't seen him yet because um, we wanted to get natural reactions. So that was really pretty cool. Um, so yeah. What'd you do? Yeah. Either way, that was so epic. We're gonna have. We just made the best behind the scenes right there. <laughs>